today on Need Clark's be place, we are taking and installing a one wire alternator. I guess it, it's the whole alternator. It's not the harness, is it? Correct. One wire alternator. So we're going to take that and this is Doug's car. You've seen him out here. He's all the time over here working with us. Uh, this is 68 Mustang that uh, fastback that we painted a while back. And then that is the original alternator. Well, maybe not yes. the original, but original, the original style. style. And then this is the new alternator that we're going to throw in there and change it from like four wires coming out of there to just one. So um, we'll see how it goes here today. I may have it. Did you change it? All right, there you go. I don't know. First, I got to get the old buddy yeah. out of there. Old alternator. This is where I'll be fast forwarding forever. No, no, this this should go quick. Of course, we gotta gotta show that we use only the Milwaukee tools. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we got next? Uh, the bottom one is that same. Same size. Yeah. There it is. All right. The bottom one is the adjuster. Yeah. You know. You got it. Oh, it was on, but yeah. Off. Of course. There. And of course it's probably tight. Yeah, it's tight. Um, Might need a what do you want? I need a regular wrench wrench. A small yeah. I think I'm your camera guy, not your wrench getter guy. I know. I no. I have a new tool, but I should have grabbed it. Yes. The more powerful Milwaukee it ratchet. Would have just knocked it right out of there. It would have. There you go. Uh, no, it's cool. Need to okay, there you go. It. You got it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Okay. All right. Now, we, now we're cooking with grease. This vintage air on there that you put on? It's old air products. Old air yes. products. Yes. Yeah, it looks cool. All right. You can let it fall. Got it. There's that one. And then we just have the top, right? Top pin has to come all the way out, right? Yes. In order to slide it up out of there. Now the ratchet will work. So you already have the three eight or the quarter inch drive, is that what that is? Or you got the three eighths drive? This yeah. is quarter inch, I think. Isn't that quarter inch drive? No, this is this is three eighths. Oh, yeah, three eighths. Three eighths. It's just not the. It's not the one that. Uh, not the fuel. It's not the new fuel. That has a little more powerful. But I mean, it does work okay. Actually, here you want to. You do that. It? I'll hold it. <laughs> I think you're out. You're out. That's the long one. All right. Everything should be. Off of there. You got to get the belt off. Yeah, I suppose. All okay. Right. Spacer. Spacer. And what this is going to do? All this. You eliminate all this. Yeah, it's the original style with the original. four connectors, four wires. Yep. And, and this connector here will just tuck away because it won't be used. But it still looks all factory. Yeah, still will look factory. Gotcha. Okay. Which? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Here's, here's the all the warnings. Look that. It looks very clean. I don't think I've ever seen one just as the one wire. <laughs> this is I've got just set up for the ground, so we'll have to cut a wire for the ground, and then use the same. I think it's four gauge. Yeah. Yep. Four gauge wire oh. to go from the positive off of the alternator straight back to the positive on the battery. And this has a built-in voltage regulator. So yeah. the original voltage regulator that's in the car, yeah. that won't even be used anymore. Okay, cool. So you could essentially, you're gonna keep your factory look, but you could essentially get rid of all the Correct. extra yeah. stuff mounted all over that's in you pretty need much that every cut, old Ford. The, the zip ties. Yeah, I wanna... Um, oh yeah, that and figure out how it goes in there and then they'll cut the length for the ground. So test fit, see how the new one goes in. 
push that wire down. Okay. So that goes in there like that. And is this spacer the right size? No. Yeah, we'll have to. Well. Yeah, it's the right size. Face. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Good. Yep. I couldn't see. Okay. So that really, needs to go. That needs to spin all the way around. All the way down and back up. Yes, all the way down. There you go. Down and back up to there. And this needs to go in a, to get it lined up again. Yeah, that's good enough wire. Okay. Okay. Well, good enough length. Yeah. So we'll you just, were just kind of test fitting to yeah. see if it would go, and then also see, see if, if the I wire. wanted to cut more wire off. Or now we're just going to strip this, put a, put the terminal on it. Uh, you well, guys got a knife. The, all right. Cool. Yeah. One of your. Hi. Right. You got it. Yeah. All right. Installation got the wire. They have put a connector on it. So with the right length wire, they had to chop the wire down. And I think it's about to be installed um, here. Yeah, cause that, well, can we get... Let's put this wire on, too. Where is it? I haven't cut one yet. You it. haven't cut one yet. I've cut two. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Where's the rest of the red wire? Crimp the old new connector on there. That one's done. And then you'll cut that to the right length. Once it's in, you're gonna cut it? Yeah, because yeah, we can do that up here. And that runs over to... The battery. Directly to the battery. I see they give you a little, it's a little red base on there, so you can see that's the positive. Where's so why do you use a red cable for the ground? Because that's all I had in you have four a big, gauge. So the black cable yeah, it's over too there. Big. Too, too big. big. What size is it? I thought you had the socket for that. I'll probably put it back. Okay. So we're gonna cinch them down. You know that's the direction you want the wire coming off? Um, well, it's gotta come back up, so. Yeah, it's gotta come back up. Hello? Sounds like somebody was in the garage over there. Let's see. Oh, you know what? It might've been the wind. Blowing our little spray out. Okay. All right. Now you can move it down there. Hey, Chris. That sound the same? Yeah. Yeah, I put it up as I was going through the toolbox. <laughs> okay. Drop that down in there. Okay, so install the new one. Which is just the reverse of the old one. And we got this, You're and we have kidding. a spacer. Um, where's the ground? I'll go ahead and put it on. Or it doesn't matter. It was this yeah. one. Yeah. Put it on, cinch it, and then. Yeah. We just hope. Slide the alternator up into place. Let me get it on there for started first. You want that under all the washers? Um, was that the only? That was the only ground wire on there, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they had the okay. the wiring harness had a ground wire. Right. And that was the only wire. Yeah. Okay. Are we on there? Yeah, it's on, but it needs to go in much farther. But that's okay. It's getting to be a pain in my butt. So. You got the spacer? Yep. I got okay. The spacer. Crazy hoses. So you're putting the spacer in there right now? Yes. There we go. There. And we gotta be careful okay. screwing into the into the heads because it's an aluminum head. <laughs> oh is it? Okay. Yeah. Pull those threads right out. Right. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Bigger one. Looks like it could go down just a smidge in that back. Oh yeah, it's not. Yeah, I'm trying to see how this down here is too. I got water dripping out. Oh, I see you. Why do I have water dripping? Oh. AC. No, we've done something with one of these heater hoses, probably. 
Yeah, it's this one. Is it? I can see it dripping right through here. Okay. Yeah, we probably well, pinched not... it. Is it cut? No, it's not is tight. It... It's not tight, Doug. Look, I can move it. That needs to just be cinched down more. So you can, it almost twists. All right. Um, oof, you need to pull it up there. Now let me let me tighten the ground Dang first. It, I'm trying to see where the okay. You got it pretty much in place for that bottom bracket to come down and tie into it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You're gonna need a smaller spacer pop. To oh no, maybe not. Back off. Oh. Ground came out. It's too tight too. It's already cinched yeah, up and it's not tight. Out. We got to use the smaller bolt. That's not. That's the one that came out of there. Well, it must have had lots uh, of wires on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty long. Long bolt. We'll, we'll dig it out of the lake underneath the car right now. Yeah. Um, where the? There was a lock washer on it too, wasn't there? Yeah, I, so. I just saw when he pulled it out, it had a lock washer. Actually, not a lock washer. Nope. Yeah, it is a lock washer. Okay, go ahead. Get it all started. Get it all started on there. Can you not bang his grill with wrenches? No, I just I tapped the metal. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I mean by don't bang it on it his didn't, grill. It didn't hurt it. Mm -hmm. Damn. How am I going to get down in there? Here, I can do it. Give me the thing up in front. There you go. That looks like a little shorter bolt. Yeah, it is. It's shorter. Yeah, we don't want to cross thread a, an aluminum head. Dusty. Yeah. Okay. The ground on there. Let me see if I can. You get it? It's on there. You might have to reach around the back side of it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to come down from under here and make sure and hold it. Make sure it's pushed up right. in there tight. You still good? Yeah. That's it. And that head is cleaned off that it does have a good ground there. Yeah. I mean, you drove it over here, so I imagine it's got a good okay. ground. That's the same place you put the wire before? That's where the ground was before. Oh, prior. Okay, gotcha. Right. Cool. Okay. All right, so yeah, now we got to get this lined up. Sorry, right. that goes in there. That top bolt is in already? No. It's not in the head yet. It's not threaded. I mean, it's not threaded. It it's is not, now. It isn't threaded in. It's, it's not started in the head yet. Gotcha. I think it is now. All right. Yeah, it looks like. Now it's you got to get the bolt in the close. The front bolt in the bottom. Bolt in the bottom with for the adjustment. Oh yeah. Good foot. Gotta remember to put the fan belt back on. It's not on the bottom. We go down that way and from that side, can you put it? I don't think it's flipped around. There you go. Towards the front. There it is. Okay. There you go. Right. Nug. So, we belt is on. We have here. Yep. So you are putting the adjusting bracket. I think that's putting a little... the bolt through the bracket and into the alternator, and then you'll pull it tight. Yeah. Just cinch the belt tight, and then tighten that adjusting. Yes. Arm. I don't think that's lining up perfect. Good. Yeah. Oh, it, now it looks like you should be able to get that in there. I was okay. thinking we may have to loosen on the block. 
What so about you've the got blades on the alternator? Are they going to hit that bracket down there? Or is it? Got it started? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's, I think a it's a smaller that one. one. It's a smaller one, yeah. You might need a little extension. No, you don't need the extension. Okay, you want to pull up? Yeah. Check your belt tension, see if that, that's what you want. Yeah, that's Came off it. You might need a small extension. Okay. Actually, I think you're fairly tight, but. Are you holding that up? A little bit. For the, for the. That's good. It's so it doesn't slip back down. Here's the light. All right. That had a good sound to it. About yeah. good enough. Yeah, you, you can't spin it, so. All right, well now we need a, uh, we need you a little. tighten this one. Oh yeah, that's true. Which is the bigger one. Of course. <laughs> Snug that up. Is that 916? That's good. That's not tight. No, I think you need to, you need to put a wrench on it uh, to make sure it's tight. Cause that little, that little three ace. No, I know. Little guy, he doesn't have a whole lot of torque to him. No, he doesn't. You want a wrench? We have those. No, that's good. It was almost there. Okay. All right. Happy with that. We're tight there. So that that's physically tight. is in where it goes. That's tight. We need to tighten it. Uh, uh, yeah, we need a small stubby flathead. All right. I would get one of them now. How do I want to route? So that is the one wire. This is the one wire off. that is going to charge my battery. It's coming to the battery. So that looks good. I could actually tie wrap that. Well, get your mark, and I'll, here's your cable cutter. That's good. I'll cut it. It's not in the way of any of the turning blades or anything? No. Sweet. The second time we've used that tool. <laughs> it, I know I it went it much reason. easier. Eight years ago when I bought it, I thought, you know what? It's going to cut the alternator wire on a 68 Mustang. Someday. If it's lucky. It's going to have caked rust like it's an ancient tool. <laughs> but it'll be its first use. And this. Using my favorite tool. There. You know, I always say favorite tools, but I guess they're all every favorite, tool that does their job and does it well is a favorite tool. It's it's my favorite. <laughs> it's like that Milwaukee stapler in the other room. When you've stapled a thousand staples by hand, and then you can just squeeze a trigger. It's like, oh, this thing is the best in the world. <laughs> When it gets tired, you just put a new battery in it. Yep. All right, that looks really nice coming off of there. They're half inch. They're I like that your red wire on the back of the... They're a half inch wrench. Ah, yes. I like that your red wire coming off the back of the alternator, you don't see it. So it'll be a black, yeah, that's it'll be a black and a red and look traditional up here. Or negative. Positively negative. I think I had a car once where the positive terminal was right by the side. <laughs> well, if I touch and this over. and this, it'll spark. No, what? With the ground? Negative to the ground or ground to the ground. Only yeah, that, I think my battery I had it in backwards. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it looks like a little spark there. Yeah, there's a little spark, but it doesn't arc, is no. what I'm thinking. Yeah, mine arced. Oh, 
yeah, it can actually burn. So that, if you took the battery to the ground and it sparked, does that mean there's Usually means there's power? a draw. Uh, yeah, something's drawing something. Is that why we're replacing your alternator? But it usually happens, <laughs> well, no, because we just did and it's still doing it. It would be more, I mean, one tiny little spark if you keep moving that it could be the clock across there. keeping time pulling that current just a little yeah in the in the radio gotcha yeah okay well that should be okay oh, i gotta sure disconnect that... this just for the heck of it are you sure that the wires in here that this ground alternator and then i will just that's the voltage regulator those... ground yeah. your lights and everything that this ground that came off of the old one, that this wire in your harness doesn't ground your we'll lights find and out. everything. Yeah, you're gonna have to fire it up. You're gonna have to make sure everything's still. Because I think those you know, those wires went back over here to the regulator. One of them or two of them did. Right. So but... I've got the regulator unplugged, and that's disconnected. Well, hopefully so. that's. That's not part of the ground that you need for your lights, or you may have. Yeah, to. Well, we'll we'll turn it on and see what. So you're gonna start it, voltage regulate it, see if it's. Uh, yeah, we'll meter, get a meter it. I mean, and see, we got see if you got. Volts. Okay, see if your amp meter gauge in there actually yeah, registers. I did bring that too. I didn't bring the voltage things, but we can go across there and see if it registers. All right, cool. All right, give it a give her a go. I'm not try to start. I'm going to start. You're gonna start. No, I'm not. So I say I think that completes your circuit, your voltage regulator. That's all part of your ignition system. You got to have that plugged in. It's not running through this, but everything else is. Everything else is. I'm gonna wash my hands because it's gotten. We thought we'd take it up on the lift. You can do a walk around. Okay. Yep, I will. VA Gainesville. Alright. Yeah. I'm just getting footage. And I'm gonna splice it together with with my new theme song. <laughs> and hold it, wait a minute. Tell me when. I'm ready. Yeah, I got I got lights now too. See if it'll start. Okay. Yeah, I got hot. Oh, uh, I was pulling the current through there, and <coughs> so you yeah. you sparked and got whoo. Out. I'm holding it, it's like <laughs> it's sparky time on Clark's place. So, so this needs to be grounded. Those two wires. I don't know yeah. about both of them. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, they have to both. One might be your ignition, the other one might be for yeah, your whole wiring true. system. So can you ground it to the body since the ground is that all that sure. needs to happen? Yeah, I could yeah I could, you could do this and it would be the same thing. Okay. So just take that. You got your lights. Your lights wouldn't come on. True. The interior lights. When you were when you had it grounded, I noticed they clicked on. Okay. Open your door. Let me see if I just touch this to ground. They should come on without. Okay. Now. Nothing. Nothing. Now. Now. Okay. Ground How about? Go back to the battery. That's that we got. Lights. Okay, yeah, it's got to go back to your battery, and that's probably this here. So even though well, you yeah, do plug into that. a one wire yeah. alternator, you still need to run the wires that need ground. They still need to run back to the battery. Yeah, so this this isn't disregarded. Yeah, you could. Oh, too bad it doesn't reach over and plug into that. <laughs> what if you did this, undid this? Where's that hooking up? to these two. All right, okay. we'll revisit some wires here and, and come back. And a ground. All right, we'll pretend that this is the first time that we've tried to start it.
Get it in the sun too. Ah, uh, did you want to take it out? Or, or if they want, if they want to eat another, it's a little bit five feet on the floor. No problem. Right. If you want to take it up, Doug, go underneath it. If you want to film underneath, sure, I don't care. We haven't had any, I think the lid is lonely. It had not had anything on it for a while. We need to, uh, that way I can see how well I did with the cleaning. Sure. Now he's got dust all over it from the uh -huh. I know. Green, green goopy challenger dust. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, no. I figured it. Oh, uh, yeah. Once I get in the house, then you got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so am I lined up straight enough? So, make sure the brick is on. Go slow a little bit and then we'll... Double check. Take. Shake it a little bit. I don't see. I think it's fine. Like it's all jacked up in the back. Looks, looks cool. Clips are coming out. See, are coming little, out. Little Check Alan's your uh, tires. Make sure there's no wiggle in the bearings. No, I don't think so. Not the back ones. A little wiggle. Yeah. Looks pretty clean under here, Douglas. Yeah, yeah you did a good job. I gotta find my little Allens and tighten it. Well, you got Allens here, I'll find them. Yeah. Mm hmm. I uh, see, see where you seem sealed. I gotta do that on my Challenger or my and you Charger. You can see where we put in these frame con Oh, rail did you guys connectors. put those in? Yeah, we put yeah, them in. Yeah, and we welded them. I did not know that you did that. Yeah, we did. Look at you guys we getting see. all weldy. We welded her all around. I see. Yeah, it looks pretty clean, pretty nice. It's like got new. Is that power steering exhaust or is that hot. rack and pinion? No, that's the power steering. Original power steering. Original. Is it? Okay. But that's it looks like a new cylinder on there. It looks nice. Yes. Yeah. Suspension's rebuilt. been rebuilt. Sway bar. Custom front valance. I see you got one of them yeah. installed. I believe that's a Clark's custom. That's a Clark's custom. Clark's custom original this right allows, there. And the grill allows more air to get in there on the radiator. Well, I forget why you wanted more air. It was it was running high, high. Just high. because it's higher performance engine and it's he's got a stroker. 98 degree weather. Yep. <laughs> yep. More air is always good. I thought that you put AC in it too and you needed the well, AC condenser was, was blocking. Yeah. That was a little after, but yeah, that was... Yep. In preparation so yeah, it's uh, very, very nice and clean under here. Yeah, very cool. You can see all the over spray. Oh yeah, yeah. on this side of the yeah. Oh yeah, I can, I can this even side see it on smooth. the camera. I <laughs> yeah. can see it's a lot of gray overspray there. Yep. Yeah, you know, all your pinch welds look really good. And and some blue overspray from yeah. spraying it blue. Yeah. Well, we didn't have this on a rotisserie, so. No. Uh uh. So cut to three years later when we've got it on a rotisserie and we're doing this car again. Yeah. No yeah. Here. A few years from now we'll we'll probably have this on the rotisserie. Who knows? Yeah, I got a couple. Rock chips already over here. Really? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow. Oh, yep. Well, yeah, how long has it been? On your a year springs. and a half since we did this car? Yeah. Yep. Where's your Allen? Looks pretty good. Oh, they're, they're little doohickeys. I lost one. Oh, I see those. Came unloose. Yeah. Go around and 
snug them all up. Alright. I'm not sure if our voices will be in these shots or not. I may do a... May do some sounds over some video uh, here. Just the other day. Today's Thursday. Friday, Thursday, it was Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Yeah. Did it for you? Okay. They called on my way home. Yeah. My car was ready. <laughs> ready. So I went, went home and changed and got it. Probably metric because this is oh, right. you got metric. I think so. Looks well, pretty pretty. Before you start filming, I was gonna oh, I'm filming right clean now. off all the dust. Oh, you can? Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to have some music that I'll put into this. Depends on how much editing I want to do. But I think I might want to make like a beauty shots of the car. Like it's a music video. Only because I made some music last night. <laughs> now you got to use it. Yep. There's the ghost stripe. Boy, I can't even see it on the camera that it's even there. Yeah, it looks crazy on the on the camera here. Oh, there it shows up a little bit, the ghost stretch we did. Looks pretty good. Already leaves falling on it. Yeah. Alright, I think I got enough shots with this.